This week's Ask Dr. Dury comes from a patient who wants to know, can blood testing replace bone marrow testing? And this is a, a very important question, a very practical question, because obviously it's very uncomfortable and difficult and even expensive to get a bone marrow test done. So unfortunately, it is essential to do a bone marrow test at the time of initial diagnosis, because that is how we make the diagnosis. Myeloma is a disease of the bone marrow, and we have to assess what percentage of myeloma cells are present in the bone marrow. So this is an essential test at diagnosis. It's also an essential test at uh, key uh, follow-up points, uh, particularly at best response to see has the myeloma actually been cleared out of the bone marrow using uh, the therapy. And so this would be a key test for assessing minimal residual disease, what we call MRD, to see if uh, the bone marrow is MRD negative. However, aside from that type of essential bone marrow testing, it's quite encouraging to note that we do have new precise tools that will greatly enhance our ability to accurately uh, measure and assess the status of the patient using blood tests. And the three tests I would draw your attention to are number one, mass spectrometry, and this is a new serum test which is available uh, through the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, so samples can be sent by your doctor uh, to the Mayo Medical Labs to have this test done. And this test measures the amount of the myeloma protein, what we call the M component, in the blood at very, very, very low levels. And so this can be a way to assess the disease without uh, needing to resort to a bone marrow test. Another test which is available is to look for the presence of myeloma cells in the blood, monoclonal plasma cells. And this is something that we have become increasingly aware of, that there actually are frequently myeloma cells in the blood, and that they can be measured and assessed in a variety of ways. And so now uh, samples can actually be sent off to see are there myeloma cells in the blood. And as you might expect, if that is the case, this does indicate the possibility of some active disease, and so important to know. And then the final testing is to look for mutations. What are the damaging mutations that are affecting the myeloma? And it turns out that you can assess this by studying DNA in the blood. And uh, one of the collaborators in the Black Swan Research in Initiative, Dr. Andrew Spencer, has recently published several papers showing that at the time of relapse, uh, mutations particularly affecting uh, genes called KRAS and NRAS can be noted in the blood and can be an indicator not just of relapse, but the specific mutations that require attention. And so the bottom line is that uh, bone marrow testing is essential at the beginning and for close monitoring. However, in the near future, precise blood testing will become a reality for accurate ongoing measure, measurement of the disease. And so this is really an encouraging uh, note for the future.